he sold this little um, English biscuit tin uh, for $32 plus shipping on eBay. Hi, this is Dina with Left Lane Finds and welcome back to my channel. I have those items pulled out of the closet now and I just wanted to show you in some better light what they look like. So my daughter Alyssa from Green Bee Explorer, she sold this little um, English biscuit tin uh, for $32 plus shipping on eBay. Um, it is a um, Dower. Um, it says made in England. It says designed by Dower, Long Island, New York, container made in England. Uh, so it's definitely a, a collaboration of sorts. It's a very vintage and um, so pretty. I just love all those flowers on there. She got this at the bins um, the Goodwill outlet bins in Kansas City, Missouri, where um, you pay by the pound. And for these type of items, it was like 69 cents a pound. So I don't know quite how much she paid for it, but it can't be much. <laughs> it's very lightweight. <laughs> uh, so if we had to guess, let's say 20 or 25 cents for that. And in here, which I love my little shoe boxes, is my set of four mugs. They are the strawberry ones, the strawberry design by uh, George Briard. I'm going to get them outside. Look at that. How pretty is that? And there's the bottom so you can see it has a sticker and it's signed. Um, I paid 57 cents a piece for the mugs. I have four mugs that I sold this sale and I have three plates which I um, wish I had four plates because then I would have sold it as a complete set, but I only had three plates So I separated it on my Etsy. But anyways, um, I paid two dollars and 28 cents for the four mugs and I sold them for 34 dollars including shipping uh, So I don't know how much the shipping is yet until I print out my label and I'm going to continue to add to this video um, additional sales so stay tuned and keep watching This is a belt that I showed you previously. Uh, it's a Chico's belt that I had listed on Poshmark. The person um, had made me an offer of $15 that I accepted. And um, unfortunately, her payment information wasn't um, up to date. So she had to update it, which she did. And now I'm able to uh, ship it out. So I have both items together pulled out of my inventory. This is the Art Glass Bubble Flower Vase. It is so neat. I just love that. Can't believe I'm not keeping it for myself, but I'm hoping to find more of them. I know they come in many different colors. They have like the Bulacante in there. Although I'm not sure these aren't they don't look controlled. Those buzzle bubbles in there don't look controlled. So maybe it's not Bolacante. But I paid uh, $4.99 for the vase and I sold it for $22 plus shipping on eBay. This was a message to me. So I didn't sell it directly on any platform. Somebody messaged me. And this is the Otagiri. I'll turn that over so you can see the sticker. They're handcrafted Otagiri coasters. Just love these they are in perfect condition they're that black lacquer with the gold on the top with the uh, flowers on it and um, I paid $3.99 uh, for those and I sold them for $20 plus shipping so I bought the gingerbread man plate cookie tray whatever you want to use him for. It could be a spoon rest. I paid $4 for him and I sold him for $30 uh, plus shipping on eBay. Here's a better look at this beautiful ceramic kitty. He's got the little green eyes, which I just love with a little pink nose. 
He's a little figurine with his little curled up tail. Isn't he neat? He is just so awesome. So I had him for $15 in my Etsy shop. I had the 20% off, so the person got $3 off. So they paid $12 plus shipping for him. I almost forgot to tell you how much I paid for it. So I paid $2 uh, for the cat and uh, got $12 for it. Here's a better look at the little cat figurine. Isn't she just adorable? So I paid $1.99 for her and I sold her on eBay for $17.99 free shipping. I'm guessing it'll probably cost me between seven and eight dollars to ship her out. Uh, so a pretty decent profit for just a little figurine. I had another sale on eBay. So I wanted to get it out and show it to you. The buyer contacted me and asked me if I was okay with doing a local pickup. And I said, sure. So I went into my listing and I added that as an option. And she then purchased all of the plates. So what I have here are the, the big dinner plates. There's a set of eight of those. And she paid $10 a piece for those. So that was $80 for those. And then the four salad plates I had uh, listed for $21. So she's all in $101 for those. And let me just show you the pattern on them. Aren't they pretty? I still have more of this set. I have the soup bowls and I have the mugs and saucers. And let's see here, there's the back of it. So it was designed uh, by Bob Van Allen for Mikaso. It's a Metro series, it's called Sketchbook, made in Japan. So these are vintage uh, dishes. And I am going to meet her at the local police station. So pretty happy about this sale. Uh, don't have to worry about packing and shipping. I'm just gonna protect the plates and put them in a box and then I'm gonna meet her. So all in, um, I paid uh, $13 for the eight plates and the the salad plates um, so it's pretty good uh, return so this is vintage yarn and which means this is not being made anymore and back in the day these were sold at Ames which is also gone I believe for $1.39 a skein uh, when I first picked these up at the bins, I wasn't sure if um, this was a good thing to get or not. I know yarn sells, but I wanted to be careful, so I did look up comps and saw that these exact skeins had sold prices all over eBay. So I was like, yes, and I got that. So this is by the pound because I got it at the Goodwill Outlet bins. I would have to weigh it to give you an exact price, but... Everything there was like $1.29 a pound. I doubt that these four skeins together even weigh that much. Um, or not even near a pound, I should say. Uh, I sold them for $17 plus shipping. I picked this game up because it was new in the package. And I had done some comps on it because um, lots of games sell really well and I thought well if I'm gonna try one this is my first one listing up uh, on eBay I was like I'm gonna try one that's new in the package now I paid six dollars for this now even though it's new in the package it had a little rip right there in the plastic and it has a little ding in the actual box itself so it's not in mint condition but of course I know all the pieces are there and um, this just happens to be the Jewish edition. Uh, so um, it was a specific version of the taboo, uh, which is another reason why I picked it up. Oh, there's the other. There's right there. The box is also damaged right there. So I paid $6 for the game, which was a lot more than I uh, normally pay for a lot of my thrifted items. Unless I know I can get, you know, a lot of money for them. But I thought, let me just try. And so I sold this for $33.99, including shipping. I'm figuring shipping will cost me like somewhere like $8, $8.5 maybe. And then 
um, you know, deduct the six dollars from that and the eBay fees and the rest is profit. Here are all the pieces all gotten out of the closet and I just want to give you guys a close up. Hopefully that is focusing for you guys. A close up of the pattern It's called Dresden Rose. It's by Mikasa and it's trimmed in platinum. There is the bottom. And you would think Dresden Rose would make it like pink or like some other color, but it's actually um, this blue and grays on there. But it's roses, so they call it the Dresden Rose. It's just so pretty. And I paid, uh, it was a whole set. It was 54 pieces for $49.99, so roughly 93 cents a piece. I sold the creamer and sugar for 20 free shipping. I sold the teacups with the saucers for $21.99 plus shipping. And the plates, it was a set of four for $23.99 plus shipping. This is an Otagiri sailboat mug. And it is definitely a bolo, this particular motif. Not all Otagiri mugs sell that high. Some of them sell for, you know, eight to ten dollars, sometimes twelve dollars, depending what's on them. Um, and some are hard to sell because of what's on them, and some are easier to sell. So I just listed this not that long ago, and um, I paid 99 cents for it, and I sold it on Etsy for $30, plus they paid uh, $6 in shipping. So this is definitely a bolo. Here is a better look at that bunny plate. It's got the majolica around the edges and on the inside there, which is the raised design. This one has carrots with the bunny. Let me turn it over so you can see the back of it. Oh, let's see. There we go. Hopefully that is focusing for you. It's Bordala Pinheiro, made in Portugal. And this initially had uh, like a TJ Maxx tag on it. I bought it at a thrift store, but uh, what happens with TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, uh, even um, Ross, is they get a lot of like the overstocks or uh, the items that didn't sell during the seasons, seasonal stuff. Um, they also, you know, I don't, they buy out inventory from other, you know, bigger stores and things. So just because it had that TJ Maxx tag on it in the thrift store, didn't mean I put it back. <laughs> I paid $2.99 for it and I sold it for $24.50 including shipping. So don't shy away just because something has one of those tags on the back. Obviously this is more modern but this particular brand sells well. I sold another plate, uh, one of the green ones with the more cabbage and floral mo motifs on it. But I thought this is really unique because the green ones are very very common but this wasn't and that's why I picked it up. Thank you for watching. Put any comments or questions down below and I'll catch you guys later.